Good morning. I just got off of work and I had an interesting topic to talk about. It will not surprise me in the near future for things like lung cancer and cardiovascular disease to spike, especially things like lung cancer. The reason being, there's a, there was a recent article that came out in 2020, and I talked about this in one of my videos that I did and talking about masks and my video got flagged for medical medical misinformation and these were studies i did this video talking about the efficacy of of these type of masks right of these little surgical masks that healthcare workers are being forced to wear around the hospitals they do nothing to protect you from viruses but in many hospitals like in the one that i'm at they still have a mandate even though the CDC months ago has already stated that there's no point in wearing these masks. But both staff as well as visitors to the hospitals and patients are being forced to wear these things as a precaution to keep you safe. So recently in 2022, there were many articles talking about how microplastics were for the first time ever being found in human lung tissue. And so the articles were talking about how these microplastics can obviously move through the bloodstream, can cause cardiovascular disease, can cause neurological issues, can cause lung cancer. This particular plastic that they found, the doctors didn't understand why. Up to 80% of all people who were tested were found to have these, this particular microplastic. And so, of course, the article goes on to state that the healthcare applications in the future will be unknown. And it's very obvious to me what's going to happen. There are going to be many people who are sick. Now, why do I talk about masks? The reason being is because that same plastic was for the first time in 2020, recommended to be utilized in masks. In these masks. These very surgical masks that I see people wearing, even till today, outside in their car. You might see them walking around the store. Obviously, in the hospitals, medical workers are being forced to wear them. And the implication is that many of these individuals, because the masks break down over time, And they're not designed to be worn for long periods of time. These masks are designed to be worn for up to two hours. And that's it. They're meant to be changed. In that video that I did, I did this video back, I believe, in 2021. 2021, talking about how surgeons that wear these type of masks, they showed that the maximum efficacy for not infecting patients the whole point that the doctors were wearing these masks was when they were doing surgery so that they weren't infecting their patients that were obviously open on the table and what they found was that these masks were basically the maximum use was about two hours you can wear it up to four hours but it is off and on it is not to be worn you know for up to four hours of continuous use it's meant to be worn off and on up to four hours But most healthcare workers don't even change their masks the whole shift. We wear these masks for 12 hours. We go from room to room to room with these exact same masks. Prior to 2019, you were never able to do that. You would get in trouble. If you wore a mask into one room, you were to discard that mask before coming out of that room. And today and for the past three years, healthcare workers have been breaking the simple protocol of infection control, spreading disease. These masks spread disease because all the dust particles and the micro and the bacteria and viral particles, etc., cetera, are, are designed to get caught in the front of the mask. And you're wearing that and you're going from patient to patient, from room to room, walking around the hospital, wearing it on your chin, putting it back up. There is no health 
in healthcare. The simple infection control protocols that we followed prior to all of this are being broken from day to day, healthcare worker by healthcare worker, hospital to hospital, going from room to room. And the implication for many of these healthcare workers is in the future they may develop lung cancer. They may develop issues with their heart. As these particles break down and then they're inhaled, they can find their way through the bloodstream. They can cause lesions in the lungs. But nobody talks about this. Nobody talks about it. No one pushes back. It was funny. When I was in nursing school, they, they stressed evidence-based. Everything we did had to be based on evidence. And there's no evidence that these masks do anything. But there is evidence that these masks are, as a result, breaking down and are being found. The small particles of polyethylene are being found in the lung tissue for the first time in 2022. And it's because in 2020, this particular plastic was pushed into masks. Nobody talks about this. It's, it's always uh, doctors are, you know, baffled. They don't understand what's going on. It's like, it's rather obvious what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to leave all these articles. Of course, I'll flash them and I'll leave all the links down below so you can check them out. I'm headed to bed. I got work tonight. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.